We have arrived at letter G. Letter G is similar to F. We just kind of speed things up a little bit, starting to play some more eighth notes. Uh, at this point, if you don't have, make sure that you have letter F down really well and under your fingers. By the way, memorize, memorize. And the best way to memorize is to have fun with it. Because you know, if you have a video game or a remote control to a TV, I bet right now you could go grab your remote control and shut your eyes and be able to control the TV. Why? Because TV's fun. We like to do it. We like to watch it. And we, we experiment with that remote control so much or your cell phone. You know where everything is so fast because you enjoy it. It makes you happy. By the way, I don't think it really makes you happy. I think stuff we do on the inside things that we build up on the inside and give to others is true happiness, true joy. But that's a whole different subject. Stuff that we get emotional about, we learn. So one great way to practice is to not practice. Take something that you like, maybe from that last one, maybe like uh, um, letter F. Maybe you like that going... <laughs> So you know what? Stop the video and play for 10 minutes. Just go. Maybe change the rhythm. Ooh, that was cool. You know, just have fun. In fact, at this very second, it's 10.55 uh, a.m. my time right now. I literally am happier and joyful inside because <laughs> music just does that for you. Wow. Okay. So here we go. I can't even remember where we are now. Uh, I think we're in, uh, oh, we're, we're doing G. Okay. So um, I'm just going to tell you if this if there's hard parts of a hard measure in here practice it first and then join me okay here we go we'll go slow one two g two three <laughs> Okay, that was letter G. If you noticed in there there was a measure you keep messing up, um, you know what I would do? If, if let's say it's uh, two notes um, that you keep messing up, what I would do is take the note that's on either side of it, so four notes, and play fast pairs between those two and those two. Play one note at a time, play it backwards, um, and with the goal the whole time of being very comfortable, I, I call them gentle C's, making sure that your fingers are relaxed and not stressed out. You never want to see blood coming to the surface of your fingers, okay? Unless you're a drummer, and you're not if you're watching this video. Well, you might be. You're a mallet player, though. So, And you know what? Mallet players should have a little uh, blood come to the surface as you hold your mallets. That way they're nice and still. Uh, here's here's G with the backing track with me. Uh, again, it plays it twice. If you miss something the first time, just keep going all the way to the end. All right, go.
Now we have arrived at H. H is just like G, kind of, except we put a rest at the very beginning. I think this is such a cool way to, ch it's almost like you tell something someone, uh, you, you say the, you, <laughs> you say something to someone and then you say it in a different way to help them understand it. It's kind of like this. I'm gonna play the first measure of G and then I'm gonna play the first measure of H. Listen to this. Now here's H. Ooh, <laughs> that changes it up a little bit. Now you will notice on the first note of H, uh, I put a staccato or a short note. And um, how about you listen to me play H one time and you know what, move your fingers and imagine you're playing and just get get the music inside you. We'll do it twice, okay? Here's letter H. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Yeah, and on those eighth rests, that rest that starts in measure eight, H, uh, the first measure of H, I am really thumping my foot so that I kind of bounce off of it. You know, I think of a basketball, I think of an eighth rest like that, the ball hitting the ground, and then when the ball comes back up to my hand, like, boom, boom, boom. I think of them as downbeats and upbeats, and in letter H, that first measure, the rest is like the ball hitting the ground. The first note is the ball bouncing up in your hand, which sounds like this. Okay, here it is again, letter H, the whole thing. One, two, one, two, three, four. Man, that is getting fun, everyone. Wow, you are really building somewhere. You're getting so many tools into your fingers. And then it gets even better in letter I. And then stay tuned for the very end for a challenge, okay? All right, here is the with the, me in the backing track, all of letter H. Go. Hey, everybody. Uh, we are at letter I. And this is the one I told you that on each chord, instead of starting on the root, like the letters that you wrote above section A, you know, you wrote basically three total letters because there's three chords that happen. There's the one chord, the four, and the five. Now, in section I, 
Yes, it starts on the one chord, just like everything we've done up till now, except the note we start on is not the root, but the third. And it creates that other flavor. And uh, that's pretty cool. So I has that eighth rest that starts the starts it just like the bouncing basketball example. Um, so let's just jump into it. Okay. Uh, we're just going to play this one uh, once with me and then the backing tracks. How about once we finish this, if you if there's something hard in there, isolate the measures, isolate the notes and get them down first and then do the backing tracks. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. I noticed a couple, uh, one mistake I made and uh, a couple things. Um, I played the wrong note in measure 101. Um, look at the fifth note of measure 101. That's that one of that tricky note that sometimes is flat and sometimes natural. And in this measure, I think I played it wrong the first time and right the second time, you know, because there's two of them in that measure. Something else I noticed is um, the second measure from the end. So measure 107, the first note is that note again. Now it should be played natural, but I didn't put any parentheses around it. It doesn't matter whether I did or not. It's supposed to be played natural. I just forgot to put the reminder, okay? So let's see if I hit the uh, right notes this time. Here we go. Um, Here is all of I. Nice and slow. One, two, mm, two, three, four. <laughs> somewhere with this everyone but you know what I just realized I did make another mistake I made I made a mistake in what I told you a minute ago in measure 101 that fifth note and then two notes later is the same one it should have been flat I should have written a flat sign in it um, so you know what I'm just gonna do that while we're on camera right now and uh, so you can kind of see how it is you should write it in. You want to do it in red so you can really see. All right. Okay. So here's that. Here's that measure right there. I put a flat sign on it, and uh, you should write one in too. Um, in fact, you know the best musicians all have two instruments, and the second one is their pencil, or their you know, I, I used a pen so you could see it easier, but a pencil is, you know, every musician needs to have a pencil. And make little notes here or there, stuff that reminds you of what to do. Okay, man, look at all that you have accomplished it, in this, these two pages. There's, a, there's a hundreds of notes. There's lots of cool rhythms and stuff. And if you really utilize these and learn them and play them over and over, you're going to have such a foundation of blues which is used in all kinds of songs, everyone. There are so many songs that use 12 bar, this 12 bar form that goes Roman numeral one, four, one, five, four, one, that does that all the time. And the blues always does it. Uh, yeah, look at all that you've accomplished with this. Stay tuned for the challenge. 
challenge yourself to do it. If there's a certain section that you need to work on or a couple measures here and there, do that. Um, the challenge isn't to be perfect. It's not even to be able to do it totally. It's just to be able to jump in and challenge yourself and have someone playing that's not going to stop right next to you. And I challenge you to get friends to come over and do it. Um, get other friends to join Sharps and Flats with Kingsley. Uh, you know, and, and show them this stuff. Show them this music and, and let them see how exciting it can be. All right. Um, this has just been great stuff. Until I see you in the next video, stay sharp. I always say that. I don't mean literally sharp. Uh, I don't mean like tuner sharp where your tuner is sharp. I just mean, you know, stay... Uh, Stay with it. Stay sharp. Stay good. Um, practice on purpose. Do things on purpose. Live life on purpose. Be intentional with what you do. You know what? I have a planner. When I wake up in the morning, I write out my day, what I'm going to do all day long. And when at the end of the day, I'm able to look back and say, man, did I accomplish some stuff? And my goal today, as I sit here and talk, it's 11.08 a.m. I have been able to produce the entire lesson, all the videos, all the teaching for this lesson today. It was my goal. And now you're benefiting from it. If you will make a goal of your own to do things for your neighbors, give of yourself, give yourself to this music, do a lot of things, man. And, and if you plan it and you work your plan, you're going to be successful and it's going to cause you to have some joy inside, bring joy. That's why I said cell phones and all this stuff that has this superficial happiness. Yeah, it's emotional and we learn it, you know, the remote control. But the true happiness comes when you can accomplish something and play something that you own and is yours. And that's what you're moving for, towards in this video. All right. Um, it's not about being perfect, it's just about having fun with this stuff. Here goes. Now play all of Section I with my backing track with me, and then go on and listen to the challenge and uh, do that challenge. And uh, as I always say, until I see you in the next video, whether it's in uh, um, Accent on Achievement or uh, you know Method Books or in Jazz or whatever we're doing, until, you, until I see you then, stay sharp. Bye. Okay, now here is just an example of me putting together the tools that we've learned on this page, this blues notes, the important ones. I'm not going to be playing exactly each thing exactly, it's just that I've so got the, each of these tools under my fingers, I'm just going to kind of be playing them as I hear them in my head. Like right now I'm hearing boo da do da so I think I'm going to start with that. But then uh, I kind of like to get that flavor of the the section F in there boo da do da do da do da do you know I mean I'm not sure what's gonna happen but uh, I'm just gonna sh demonstrate here um, you know this will just be two choruses long 24 measures long and this is what you're gonna be able to do once you start memorizing each of these tools you know and you get them so in your in your head and under your fingers you can just kind of pull them out and play them whenever you hear them and I don't know if I'm even going to like this solo. I just know that I'm going to have fun doing this. Here goes. <laughs>
Okay, now it's time to do the challenge. The challenge is to play sections A through I, and I would have this, you know, fully opened on your music stand in one long song. Uh, it's just a challenge. It's not meant, it's not a, you know, you don't fail or succeed by doing it. It's just fun to do. And it's good to have someone playing, forcing you to stay up with it. And I challenge you, you know, do it and, and don't stop. Just keep going all the way to the end. There's something to be said for someone who will just go to the end and not stop. Yeah, you're going to make mistakes and, and you don't want to practice mistakes. And you, but this isn't practicing mistakes. This is practicing endurance and going to the end goal, running and racing all the way to the end. Okay. Now that being said, make sure that you have isolated each section and really worked on them before you do it. Now, if there's a part of one section that's giving you a little problem, you know, stop there, do fast pairs, do one note at a time, you know, play it backwards, make it simple, get it under your fingers, maybe close your eyes and have fun playing your own melody using those notes and it'll get those notes really down. Okay, um, so, all right, here we go. Uh, if you need to, pause this video and work on a section or two but when you start this just go you know there's going to be a click off tap tick one two and then it's going to start all right this is your challenge everyone uh, i'm so excited to see you in the next jazz lesson or in other sharps and flats videos until i see you then stay sharp here's your challenge Thank mm -hmm. you.